all humans have the potential to achieve something incredible. But there are a select few who not only fully commit themselves to excellence, but if enough people are so lucky as to hear about them and their wisdom, become legends in the eyes of the generations to come. Stories are constantly unfolding of humans who strive to push the boundaries and help us redefine what is possible. Individuals who pushed the human limits by seemingly defying nature will inspire you with their dedication, and the mysteries surrounding their lives will fascinate you. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible individuals. Li Qing Yuan Us humans have always been captivated by the idea of dodging our own mortality, looking in awe to those surpassing even the 100-year mark. The 250-year mark, then, seems mind-blowingly unachievable. However, in the 1920s, it was reported that one Chinese man, Li Qing Yuan, had done the impossible and surpassed 250 years of life. This is one of the longest human lifespans ever reported apart from Greek legends and other myths, and while this achievement is not entirely proven, it is backed up through more than just stories. According to the New York Times, a dean at Minkuo University discovered records documenting Li Qing Yuan's birth at Chongqing, China in the year 1677. Since his death was reported in 1933, this puts his total living years at 256. Other evidence for his impressive lifespan comes from interviews in Li's neighborhood, where the elder men claimed to have known Li as a grown man when they were just children. To put his longevity into perspective, the United Nations estimates that the global average human lifespan is 72.6 years. The Guinness Book of World Records formally recognizes a French woman who died at 122 years of age as the longest-lived person. The 256 years which Li Cheng Yuan has reportedly lived is such a long period of time that he allegedly married 23 different women. It is also reported that he fathered 200 children. Legend says that on his deathbed he told his friend, I did everything I was supposed to do in this world. I'm going home. Adding to his impressiveness was his wisdom. Li Cheng Yuan passed down what he believed to be the secrets to his longevity. One way he kept himself extremely fit was through his practice of the martial art Qi Gong, which he learned from an apprenticeship with a hermit that he believed to be 500 years old. Li went on to teach others this art at the ripe age of 71. Qi Gong improves both physical and mental health, incorporating posture, exercise, and breathing techniques. Li Qing Yuan's diet, which consisted mainly of herbs and rice wine, may have also helped to extend his life. He was a herbalist himself, a career he started at age 10, foraging for and selling plants like goji berries and ginseng. Descriptions of Li Qing Yuan have him standing 7 feet tall with impressive eyesight, extremely long fingernails and a healthy complexion, which certainly aligns with a physically nourishing lifestyle. However, these practices of the body are not what he himself identified as the reason for his long life. He attributed his everlasting health to his peaceful mind. When he asked the secret to his longevity, he replied, keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise, walk sprightly like a pigeon, and sleep like a dog. This quote lives on to this day and captures his eternal wisdom. The Mummified Monk You may associate mummification with ancient Egypt, but it turns out not every mummy is found inside of a sarcophagus. In 2015, the Siberian Times reported the discovery of 200-year-old remains of a Mongolian monk, frozen in the lotus position. It seems the powerful and natural process of decomposition was no match for the icy Mongolian climate. Though the cold conditions may serve as the explanation for this phenomenon, the preservation of human remains for two centuries is still a rare feat of nature, even in the chill and the monk's resting lotus position seems to symbolize a meditative state of eternal worship. The lotus position is also known as the Varya position in Tibetan Buddhism, and it is achieved through sitting in a cross-legged position with each foot being placed on the opposite thigh. The position of the feet should be as even as possible. 
The soles of the feet are meant to face upwards, and the heels of each foot are instructed to be positioned near the abdomen. The Buddha is commonly depicted in the lotus position, and this position is said to stabilize the body, increasing stamina, and facilitating proper breathing. The pose is meant to resemble an actual lotus flower, which symbolizes purity and an enlightened mind in Buddhist traditions. Due to this meditative state he was discovered in, senior Buddhists declared that the monk was not actually dead but in a deep trance called Tukdam. Perhaps his resting position does not merely symbolize eternal worship but is a sign of it. In certain Buddhist traditions, it is said that a person can remain in the Tukdam meditative state even after complete physical death for many days. It is believed that from this state of meditation, where the body shuts down and the mind goes on, one can become a Buddha. Recognizing how rare and incredible the condition of the monk was, a man actually stole the corpse to sell on the black market. The transportation of the monk fortunately led to the intervention and discovery by scientists, which thankfully in turn caused the monk to be reported internationally for the whole world to marvel at. The mystery behind the monk's identity adds even more intrigue to this story. It is speculated that the body belongs to the teacher of Lama Dashidorzo Itigilov, who was also found mummified. It is said that Itigilov warned his students of death, began meditating, and then also died in the lotus position. According to legend, the Lama was buried and unearthed twice, well preserved each time. Today, his final resting place is in a Buddhist temple where he will be worshipped forever. Whoever this mummified monk is, it seems that even in the seconds before his death, he remained peaceful and connected to his way of life. Zuo C. Pushing the limits of longevity is one thing, but what about breaking the laws of physics? In many ancient documents, humans are reported to perform incredible acts of magic. One of these historical mystical humans is Zuo Si. Zuo Si was a legendary man of the Chinese Eastern Han Dynasty, the second imperial dynasty in China. Although his birth and death dates are a mystery, historical texts claim that he lived to be 300 years old. It is believed that he achieved this through a mentorship with Taoist sage Feng Heng, who taught him magic and longevity. Zuo Si is thought to have studied atop a mountain in Taizhou, where he practiced Taoism and also studied Confucianism and astrology. One of his paths to longevity was through Taoist sexual practices, which supposedly enhanced health and spirit and extended life. Taoists referred to these sexual practices as joining energy. Simon was thought to contain a lot of Jing, which was the energetic matter in the body. Jing was also thought to be connected to life force, known as qi. The goal was to conserve as much bodily fluid as possible because the depletion of all the Jing in the body through the loss of fluids led to death. Therefore, it was a goal for men to avoid ejaculation. However, it was believed that when men and women had as much sex as possible, women would extend the life of men when men absorbed Jing energy from women. Female satisfaction was extremely important because it created more jing to be transferred to the man. So that's how Zuo Qi pulled off 300 years. Zuo Qi was also taught alchemy and applied his knowledge to medicine, gaining notoriety for performing healings and extending the life of others with his cures. He was also known to have gone extended periods of time without food and to have displayed divine powers. Reports of his magic acts include walking through walls, teleporting and summoning various objects. Many of his practices did not completely align with Confucianism, and this led to his prosecution by strict Confucians, such as the warlord Sun Shi, who tried to kill Zuo Si by chasing him on horseback. It is believed Zuo Si escaped by manipulating time or space, as the horse never caught up to him despite him seemingly walking slowly. It is also reported that Cao Cao, the Grand Chancellor of the Han Dynasty, tried to execute him as well, with Zuo Si once more using magic to escape, this time hiding himself among a flock of sheep. While many may not believe these acts are possible and that the reports of Zuo Si's life are just stories, it is incredible enough that he displayed the discipline required to sit atop a mountain and dedicate his entire life to studying so many different practices. 
he makes an impact on the present day through his appearances in pop culture. Today, Zuo Si appears as a character in the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms and is also a playable character in the video game series Dynasty Warriors. But what do you make of these incredible humans and what they have achieved? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.